Crypto trading can seem wild. Charts are like your special maps. They help you see more clearly. They show where prices have been. This past movement can give clues. Without charts, you are just guessing. Guessing with your money is very risky. Understanding charts is truly a key first step. Imagine planning a long car trip. You would surely use a map. Crypto charts are very similar tools. They show the market's weather. They show the road prices taken. This helps you prepare for what's next. It is about seeing patterns. It is about understanding probabilities. Learning to read charts gives an edge. It helps you take more control. There are different ways to draw price. Each method offers a unique perspective on the market's movements. Think of them as different pictures, each capturing a different aspect of the same story. Each picture tells the same story, but from a different angle, highlighting various details. But each highlights different things, making it easier to understand specific market trends. The simplest is a line chart. It's straightforward and easy to read. It connects closing prices over time, giving a clear picture of the market's direction. Like drawing a line dot to dot, it simplifies complex data into an easy-to-understand format. It gives a clear, simple view of the market's overall trend. You see the trend up, down, or flat at a glance? It is a good starting point for beginners, offering a basic understanding of market movements. Then we have bar charts, which provide more detailed information. These show more details than line charts, including opening and closing prices. Each bar is for a time period such as a day, week, or month. The bar shows open and close prices, giving a fuller picture of market activity. It also shows the high and low price within that period, adding more context. The most popular chart is the candlestick chart, widely used by traders. It is like a bar chart but more visual, with color-coded information. Green means the price went up during that period. Red means the price went down, making it easy to see market trends at a glance. Candlestick charts tell a quick story of market sentiment, helping traders make informed decisions. Now we know chart types. Let's learn some basic chart words. These words describe what we see. One key word is trend. A trend is the price direction. Is it mostly going up? That is an uptrend. Is it mostly going down? That is a downtrend. Sometimes it moves sideways in a range. Let's talk about support. Imagine a floor under a ball. Support is a price level like that. A falling price often stops there. It might bounce back up. This is because buyers step in. The opposite of support is resistance. Think of it like a ceiling. A rising price often stops there. Volume is how much crypto is traded. Section 4 Making it click easy ways to think about charts. Let's use some simple examples. Think of support and resistance like a game of tennis. The ball is the crypto price. It bounces off the ground which is support. It gets hit down by a racket which is resistance. Sometimes the ball goes very high, it breaks through the racket's reach, this is like breaking resistance. Imagine a river flowing along, the river is the price trend. An uptrend is like a river flowing uphill, a downtrend is a river flowing downhill. Candlestick shapes can seem tricky but think of them as faces, they show the market's mood. Section 5. Charts in Action Making Smarter Trading Choices How do charts help you trade? First, they show good entry points. These are the moments when the market conditions are favorable for making a purchase. By analyzing historical data and current trends you can identify these key moments. Places where you might want to buy. These zones are often identified by patterns or signals that suggest a potential rise in price. Recognizing these patterns can give you an edge in making timely decisions. If the price bounces off strong support, it might be a good time to buy. Support levels act as a floor where the price tends to stop falling and may start rising again. This is a critical concept in technical analysis. You hope the floor will hold. When the price holds above support, it indicates strength and potential for upward movement. This can be a signal to enter a trade with confidence. Of course nothing is ever certain. The market can be unpredictable and prices can move against your expectations. This is why it's important to have a strategy and risk management in place but it is a reason for your choice. Using charts to make informed decisions is better than relying on guesswork. It provides a logical basis for your trades. It is better than pure guessing. Informed trading based on chart analysis can significantly improve your chances of success. It helps you understand the market dynamics and make educated decisions. It is based on past price action. Historical data provides valuable insights into how the market has behaved in similar situations, this can guide your future trades. Charts also help set stop-loss orders. 
A stop loss order is a predetermined point at which you will exit a trade to prevent further losses. This is a crucial tool for risk management. A stop loss sells your crypto if the price falls to a set level. This automatic action helps you avoid significant losses and protects your investment. This helps limit your losses. By setting a stop loss, you ensure that you don't lose more than you can afford. It provides peace of mind and financial security. It protects your trading money. Preserving your capital is essential for long-term success in trading. Stop loss orders are a key part of this strategy. If you buy near support, set your stop loss just below it. This way, if the price breaks support, you minimize your losses and exit the trade quickly. If the price breaks support, you sell. This indicates that your initial analysis was incorrect and it's time to cut your losses. Your idea was wrong, you get out. Accepting that a trade didn't go as planned is part of being a disciplined trader. It's better to exit early than to hold on to a losing position. Charts also show take profit points. These are levels where you plan to sell and take your profits. Identifying these points helps you lock in gains, places where you might sell for profit. When the price reaches these levels, it's a signal to exit the trade and secure your earnings. If the price nears strong resistance, you might think about selling. Resistance levels act as a ceiling where the price tends to stop rising and may start falling. This helps you plan your exits. Having a clear exit strategy ensures that you maximize your profits and minimize your risks. It brings structure and discipline to your trading approach. Section 6. Starting your journey. Tips to read charts. Well, feeling a bit lost right now? Please do not worry too much. It's completely normal to feel overwhelmed when you're just starting out. Everyone goes through this phase. Learning charts takes some time. It's a skill that develops gradually with consistent effort and patience. It also takes good practice. The more you engage with charts, the more familiar they will become. Start with very simple steps. Don't try to understand everything at once. Break it down into manageable parts. Choose one or two big cryptos like Bitcoin or maybe Ethereum. These are well known and have plenty of resources available for learning. Look at their charts online. Spend time observing how their prices move over time. Many websites offer free tools. Utilize these resources to get hands-on experience without any cost. Just watch how the price moves. Notice the patterns and trends that emerge over time. Focus on the very basics first. Understand the fundamental elements of a chart before diving deeper. Learn to see line charts clearly. They are the simplest form of charts and a good starting point. Then move to candlestick charts. Look for simple uptrends. These indicate periods where the price is consistently rising. And look for simple downtrends. These show periods where the price is consistently falling. Can you find support levels? These are places where the price stops falling and often bounces back up. Can you find resistance levels? These are points where the price stops rising and often reverses direction. Try paper trading if you can. This is a great way to practice without any financial risk. This means trading with fake money. It allows you to test your strategies and learn from your mistakes. It lets you practice safely. You can make errors and learn without the fear of losing real money. You risk no real money. This builds your confidence and prepares you for real trading.